Hey there, flamingos. Oh, look. Let's see. What's going on here? Alright. Yep. Anyways. Hello there, flamingos. I'm back, and this time I bought a new game on Steam. You know, victim of, of a Steam sale during the winter. Well, yeah. No, it was like what we can deal. But anyways, I bought this collection. And one of the games in this collection is Chantilly's A Tale of Two Sisters. So, why don't we try this out? Uh, it's in Japanese. My memories of that night are foggy. Sometimes I think to myself that it must have been a dream, but... Don't go out at night when the moon is red, or the witch will curse you forevermore. They told us that old fairy tale so often. And on the night of the red moon, five years ago, we went outside. It felt like we were being called. We couldn't have walked that far, and yet, nothing around us was familiar at all. I was so frightened, and, but my sister told me to be brave. And then... As I looked forward, I saw someone illuminated by the light of the red moon. I strained my eyes to see who it was, but the light of the moon shone ever brighter. This is going to be so kawaii. When I awoke, we were in the forest that we'd played in so often as kids. Elise! Elise! I could hear the voice of my sister calling to me. Am I going to be see seeing these girls? I glanced in the direction of the sound, expecting to see my worried sister, but she was dead. No, just kidding. Translucent uh, wings on a tiny body. There was a fairy where my sister should have been. You know, now that they're bringing fairies, this is reminding me of Alfheim. I just got done watching Sword Art Online again. Could this be the witch's curse? Huh. I was gonna think this was gonna be like some kind of 2D scroller kind of game. I didn't realize it was gonna be 3D. But anyways, and so begins the tale of the two sisters. Hmm, so very tired. Come on, Chante, not a gone. We've only been walking for half a day. There's a few hours till sundown still. We can't stop now. Give me a bitty break, Elise. And no, that ain't a high joke e either. Once we cross these fields, we should reach a town, I think. Just a bit further. I know you can do it. Man, is that any way to be talking to your older sister? Wait a second. Oh, what? Don't go down to my hood. Oh. Hey, not. Why not? This is comfy. Ain't like I'm heavy either. But clean out the dust you leave behind takes forever. What the? Is my super potent fairy dust just sparkly dandruff to you? Come here, Elise. My feet and your shins have a date to go on. <gasps> Shh! Huh, what's up? I think I heard a woman scream. Did you? Oh no. I think I need help. That. The scream. Yeah. That's the sound of mortal terror, all right? Yeah, we should go see what's wrong. That always is the logical thing to do. You didn't remember how to fight? I know you're in a hurry, but let's do a quick recap. Okay, first off, press button one to swing. Yeah. What's my lock on then? All right. Oh yeah. I'm such a beast. Okay. 
All right. What kind of weapon is this? It's like a weird dagger sword, golf club swing. Should just start doing voices to distinguish. Yes, thank you. That was quite a bit of a pickle. Yeah, I hope you're grateful since we busted our rumps to save you. If, if you want to make it up to us, you could give us a reward. Chante! Oh well. How about a dinner at my place then? What? No, no. We couldn't possibly. Really, it's fine. I'd love the company, to be honest. You heard the lady, it's perfectly fine. So let's go, Miss, uh... I'm Ira, nice to meet you. Cool, well I'm Chante, and this is my baby sister, Elise. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Ari Ira. Right, well, I'm hungry. Let's introduce any more eating. So straight to the point, huh? All right, what's going on? Oh yeah! We didn't use any magic in that fight, did we? If you don't grab magic stones, I can't use them to blow stuff up, Elise. Let me explain about magic. This is kind of complicated, so listen. First, you need to grab that stone. Like, get close, then hit the attack button. That was so complicated. Now press magic button. Alright, fire. That was fire magic I just used. What magic I can use depends on the color of the stone you grab. Oh, and some good spells lock can lock on to and chase the enemies so make sure you use that now get this i can use multiple stones at once grab all the stones on the ground here blah 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 oh yeah now hold down the but magic button and then release it that's it okay kaboom just like that you can use multiple stones together for a bigger spell but uh i can only use two at a time once right now well it's been a while we can slip slip a bit and then don't worry i'll give back eventually once i do i can use a bunch of stones together to get to stuff that'll really knock your socks off oh and if you hold the button down for a long time the spell will cancel though keep that in mind well that's about all i have to say about magic what we really need now is practice, so let's mash these critters down on the way to town. Come on, Alicia. Ah. Wrecked. Get wrecked. Slime. The most basic of enemies. Might as well just, like, farm them all. I feel like this game would be so much easier if I had a controller, but I don't. Ooh, Yellowstone, that's probably, that's probably a lightning spell. I'm calling it now. I wonder how many stones you can incur. Okay, six. Can I take- can I cut down this tree? Whee. That's how you dodge. Might as well just kill everything here, you know? Get all the money and XP. If there is XP in this game. Not seen anything that would indicate so. I guess I only upgrade my equipment by buying shit. Try. Can you mix up spells? Ooh, hammer ball! Stop! Hammer time! I'm a big shot. There's no doubt. By the fire, What was that? They got barking trees. How quaint. Fucha! Get 
get wrecked. I wonder if there's any way to select which magic you want to use, or are you just stuck with whichever one is the furthest to the left? Oh, I guess I had to kill everything to even unlock the next area. I thought it was just optional. Oh well. Anyways, on we go to the village. Chapter 1, The Fairy and the Swords Maiden. Well, come in, no need to be shy. Thanks for letting us in, Ira. So, you run, run an item shop of some sort here, Ira? Looks like it. This is a pretty nice place. Oh, thank you. You two must be very hungry. Let me get started on the dinner table right away. Here we go. Holy granola! Look at this spread! Miss Ira, are you uh, sure this isn't any trouble? Don't be silly. You did save me, after all. Besides, it's far more fun to eat with company. Well, you heard the lady. Let's dig in. Well, alright. Cheers, Ira. So, KY. I see you, you, so you're in search for a witch and your search led you to this town. Th that's right. I was wondering if you had any idea where we could look for her. Hmm, well, this town is surrounded by ruins and the like, but I can't think of any particular place such a person would hide. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, really. Sweet heaven above, this is wonderful. The tongue trembling flash of sweetness when you bite into it. The soft galantious texture. It's so delicious. I think I'm gonna die from taste overload. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's my special slime liver marinade, you see. Uh, slime wants it? Oh, you don't worry. I leached all the poison out ahead of time. What? Now, now, don't leave any leftovers. Man, that was so good. Could have done without knowing that what was in it, though. Either way, though, Iris Mason, she helped us out a lot. She reminded me a bit of you, at least. Just more grown up like. R really? But alright, enough flattering. Time to get down to some real detective work. Well, uh, okay. Someone around here has got to. No, something, maybe, hopefully. Let's grill the locals for info. We're gonna grill the locals for info. Hmm. All right, time to go Zelda on these barrels. Can I just like break anything I want? Oh, okay. Uh, no, I do not want to redo the fucking tutorial. Oh my God. Oh boy, little boy. Wow, fairy, she looks like a bug. Did that boy just call me a bug? Do I get anything out of these barrels or am I wasting my time? Is that fair you have if you're missing? Interesting. You used to see them a lot back when, but now you never see them nowadays. Looking for a witch, you say? Hmm. Oh, memory's failing me. I'm afraid I can't remember. God, I'm gonna run out of voices. A fairy! Interesting! You got something rare there. That's my sister. Yeah, that, I'm her sister. Hello! I've not I'm I've not seen you around here before. Are you an adventurer? I'm like half your size. Not much of a town, but try to enjoy yourself, okay? I got called over to look at the chapel roof, but the priest is away apparently. Oh, there's our first clue. Priest is missing. I have a feeling that building has some sort of purpose. Oh, look! It looks like Mikasa, she had long hair. And it was a bit liar. Ooh, a fairy! How unusual! Hello, Miss Little Adventurer. A witch? I think I heard a rumor about that once. We used to have a lot of adventurers in town asking about a witch. I think they've mostly given up because we don't get any more in town anymore. Okay, I guess she's not, she's not helpful. Fuck! Where am I supposed to go? 
Oh my god. Just party in the fountain. You're an adventurer too, aren't you? I guess that means it, you're in the same line. We're in the same line of work. What? A witch? You mean people still believe that old rumor? I've been so forgetful lately. Yes, yeah, obviously you have. Let me touch your fairy. Uh, no. God. All right. There's no useful leads here. Can I just go back into the shop? Welcome back. Did you discover anything? All that wandering around is useful as a fish in the desert. Nobody knew anything. Oh dear. I was afraid that might happen. But while you are out, I had an idea. Why not ask the city's fortune teller to help? That would have been useful to know, like, immediately. She's quite famous for the accuracy of her fortunes. People come from far and wide just to consult her. Oh, a fortune teller? Well, heck, let's go right now. Well, wait, it's getting very late. I have a spare room on the second floor, so why not sleep there tonight? What? No, no, we can't. It, it bothers like that. Really, I insist. Besides, the room will just sit empty otherwise. Well, it does have a bed, right? Of course. Score! At least, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, a real bed. It's been how long? Well... You two get off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. God, she's so persistent. Good morning. Oh, so sleepy. Good morning, you two. Did you sleep well? It's been ages since I slept that well. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad I, you got some rest. Now, Chante, what do you have planned for today? Uh, going to talk to the fortune teller. Very good. The fortune teller's place is straight across the square from my store. I knew that building was important. Good luck, you two. Alright. Time to go across to the way. So this is the fortune teller Ira told us about, right? Well, time's a wasting. Come on. Uh, Chante, look at the door. What? Currently out? What? She's off frolicking in the tulips while her customers are waiting. Well, it says currently out at the Terran Ruins for Regents. Gen genius fortune teller, Alma. Pfft, <laughs> nuts to the city here like a pair of chumps. Come on, Elise, we're heading over to those Terran whatever. Okay. Anyways, I think this is a good s spot to leave off. Please like, favorite, subscribe, you know, comment suggestions down below, and, you know, become a flamingo today and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.